Hi, welcome to the Kylie Q Studio. We are continuing with our watercolours prompt in the Mixed Media Emporium Facebook group and there's a link to the group in the description box below. And our challenge for this week is watercolour doodles. And again, as before, if you're in the Mixed Media Emporium Facebook group, then you can use any product that will give a kind of similar effect to watercolours. So anything water soluble or indeed even acrylics watered down. So let me get started on this week's project. And again, I will put this at speed. Just before I do that though, I just wanted to let you know a bit about certain markers. Now I'm using these Unipin fine line markers and they are permanent, but you need to be careful with any markers like these. Here I'm just putting down some lines and I'm just going to take some water and you'll see that at this point they are not permanent. Now that's okay, you might like that kind of effect, but let me show you what you can do. So the same kind of lines again. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my heat tool and I'm going to put it on just for a few seconds. And what this does is to heat, heat, heat set the pens. Couldn't quite get that out there, sorry. So it heat sets the pens. And then you can go in with water, as I'll do just now, and you will see that they do not move. Now, it's the same when it comes to applying them on top of watercolours. You need to have the watercolour really dry before you do so, otherwise they will bleed out. As I say, that might be the sort of effect that you want, which is fair enough, but in case not, that's the way I do it. So I'm just gonna use these A6 postcards today. These came from Hobbycraft. I've had them for a long time. They're kind of cold pressed paper. So around about five and three quarter inches by mm, four and a bit. A6 size, hot pressed so they are textured. So I'm going to do three different styles today. This first one is just an abstract so I'm just going to let you watch while I draw this out. Part way through you will see that I go back and I actually thicken up the lines a bit.
I'm now going to use some fluid acrylic inks in muted green and muted turquoise and I'm just going to colour this in. The colours are quite similar, they do blend in places and that's fine, that's exactly what I was looking for. So again I'll just leave you with some music. I should say that this particular paper really drinks in these inks. Uh, so you know I might at some point go back and put another coat on top of it but I'm quite happy with the way that it turns out. I'm now just going to take this Montana fine liner paint pen and I'm just going to colour in some of my little dots and put a few white spots here and there just to make the whole thing pop. For my second example, I'm using these Graphitint watercolours by Derwent. Some people refer to them as Graphitint. And basically they're watercolours that have graphite in them. In some ways they're quite muted colours, they have a level of granulation in them. And I just think they are really nice. I only got these fairly recently and very nice. And all I'm going to do is to take my card and to make... I guess kind of leaf shapes, you could do circles, you could do anything. I'm just going to take 
maybe nine colours I think I use and really just put them onto here. And then all I'm going to do is to take that Unipin fine liner again and simply draw over these little doodles, I guess, just looking like leaves. And I think this would make a nice kind of card topper. <laughs> And you'll see that I deliberately don't follow the outline of the paint. I want it to hang over in places. Uh, that was very much the effect that I was looking for. And for the final example, I'm just going to use my Windsor and Newton Cotman watercolours. And I'm just going to do some wet on wet to create a mixed coloured background. You'll see I dry it off, then I go in with another layer of colour just to create an interesting background. And then all I'm going to do is to use uh, a small brush and actually use the black paint in the set just to doodle with paint. I will also add in some white dots towards the end and uh, yeah, had a little bit of a, a whoopsie when it came to that but you'll see that uh, in a moment or two.
So that was Dr. P. H. Martin's uh, Bleed Proof White and all I did was I put some water over it just to lift it up, you know, it dissolved it a bit. I picked it up with a piece of tissue and all I'm doing now is going back and just adding some of the colour back in because of course that, that lifted because it's watercolour. I'm just going to take the black paint again and put those lines in. I had started by just taking the Montana pen, flooding it onto my page a bit and trying to use that as sprinkles. But here we are, my three pieces at the end of the day, three quite different. So that first one, very much just an abstract, the sort of doodle I, I sit and do quite often, I guess, if I'm just sitting, not thinking about doing anything, that tends to be what comes out. My leaf shapes, leaf patterns and then this one done almost entirely with the watercolour. So of course Nina will have a video this week, do check that out and I look forward to seeing what you create in the Mixed Media Emporium Facebook group and uh, of course be back next week with a new prompt. So take care everybody, thanks for watching, bye for now.